Hey guys, what's up? So we're gonna do a quick video today. We're gonna show off a uh, Zing Show support guide that can be played by really any free-to-play player, pay, you know, pay to win or whatever, like kind of player. You know, anyone can like make this kind of build, and especially with the upcoming event, anyone's able to pick up Zing Show. And in my opinion, I used to hate him, but now that I start playing him, I actually kind of really enjoy his playstyle, and he's probably one of my favorite support characters in the game to run. So. Yeah, we're going to discuss him in this video and how I build him. So if you enjoy this video and you want to support me out, you can always subscribe. We've been kicked out of the algorithm recently and about 3% of people who watch my videos are subscribed. I would like to try and get back into the algorithm and my goal for this month is to try and hit a thousand subs. So if we can hit that this month, this will be amazing, but I will need your help to obviously do that. So yeah, if you enjoy this, don't be afraid to subscribe. You can feel free to answer at any time, but let's get into it. So... There are several ways to run your Zing Show. I am level 60 and I haven't got very much in attacks, I've not leveled up his artifacts. Talent wise, we I must bear in mind I am level 9 with his with his burst, and I am constellation 5 because I've got a bunch drawing the Gandhi banner. However, you don't need these constellations for him to be good. C0 Zing Show is already amazing. Just you know, you, you know, just these are just you know nice little benefits you can have. Artifacts wise. I'd recommend running a two pe a four piece noblesse oblige. However, if you don't want to run four piece noblesse oblige, because you've got another character that might do that in your party, I'd recommend running two piece heart of depth and then two piece noblesse. And the main juice here is on weapons. Uh, run any weapon with energy recharge. I use Avonia sword. However, another good option is the festering desire from the event because most of most players do happen to have one of these. If not Favonius is fine, and then if you can't get Favonius, I guess prototype Rancor for the damage. But yeah, the main like thing about Zing Cho is you want to run with energy recharge. Generally people run Sacrificial Sword, however I don't have one, so I run Favonius. And generally what you want to do is, you want Rain, when you do this, when you use this E, you normally fill up his burst to normally above half. Which is quite a lot, and then Body when you and activate his burst, you can switch to any character, and they will get a damage bonus f with Hydro, which works really well with, uh, like, maybe Electro or Pyro, or even Cryo for the Freeze with Chong Yun. It's Xing Cho's an all-around character that just benefits the team greatly, and that's why I'm just making a quick guide and build video, you know. Obviously, as well, with Artifacts, I'd recommend prioritizing Attack and obviously Hydro Damage, using for the Hydro skills, so Hydro Damage bonus. And if you really need it, you could swap out the um, the sands for energy recharge instead of attack. But yeah, go down below what you think. I think Jing Cho is amazing, and yeah, it's just, quite, just be a quick video to show off um, Jing Cho. So yeah, if you do enjoy it, feel free to sub. But yeah, thanks for watching, and take care.